in this training video, we're going to talk about the infrastructure of the 9 Series system. Man, you can make it a little more boring and that would be great. Anyway, so one of the things we want to cover in our systems is uh, the overview on how it works because that's that's really the, the crux of who Haven is and, and how the whole system operates. So the whole system operates on out of the cloud. That's really important because it enables us to do a lot of things and frankly, it enables you to do a lot of things. We can get in and see all the system configurations at any at any customer. We can get in and see you know, the system set up and everything like that. What it allows you to do is it allows you to switch from customer to customer and have access to all their information, be able to control their lights from anywhere. All the good things that you get from Haven really start because our entire system really starts in the cloud. To get the units online and to get them talking to the cloud, you can either do that really with one of two ways. You can use a Wi-Fi network that's connected to the internet, or you can use a cellular hotspot. Mm -hmm. And we have customers that do both. Mm -hmm. Where are the areas that people use uh, hotspots? HOAs is a big one for us. Some parks, mm -hmm. we're doing a bridge. That's an interesting one because they were going back and forth on Wi-Fi and hotspots and really decided on hotspots because they didn't want to mess with their city internal All the firewalls internet, and everything like that. architecture yep. or anything like that. So they wanted to keep this system completely separate. That's what they're doing there. They're using hotspots. And we've actually got, which we'll cover in another video, if you're going to use a hotspot, we've actually got some features that we've programmed specifically for hotspots that allow limited data usage and things like that that are all geared around hotspots. So keep that in mind because we'll cover that later. So all of the controllers talk through their internet access device, whether it be a hotspot or a wireless router up to the cloud and then the cloud talks to your mobile phone when you send them a command from your phone to one of our devices it goes to our cloud the cloud knows what device you're trying to send or devices that you're trying to send commands to and send those down to the proper location and to the controllers that are affected by that command so everything is really done for you this is all kind of behind the scenes stuff but really really important for the overall architecture and setup and enabling you guys to do what you do and frankly supporting your customers from your couch which is the key yep absolutely so one big difference too between our system compared to other systems is the is the Wi-Fi versus Bluetooth capability. So yeah. Bluetooth is very limited in the capacity to whereas you actually have to be on site. And with most systems, most of the Bluetooth systems, you have to be literally at the light fixture to change yeah. that particular yeah. light. So there's a big distance limitation there to where, you know, 50 feet, maybe 25 yeah. feet, something like that, to where you have that you, you have to be within that distance. Yeah. Whereas being a cloud-based system, Wi-Fi enabled, because the transformer itself is connected to Wi-Fi and our system's cloud-based, like you said, you can literally control it from anywhere in the world. So there's three different systems that we want to cover. One is Haven system, which is cloud-based, where your transformer connects to your Wi-Fi network. All the communication goes over the power lines to the lights. That's number one. FX has the same style mm -hmm. of communication yep. style. Those I are it's really us and them. That's the, the only we two. are really the yep. only two brands that mm -hmm. that communicate that way. A second type of communication that that exists. There are Wi-Fi bulbs, and those work very much like a Hue Wi-Fi system in your house. Um, although Hue re requires a hub, um, most of these Wi-Fi bulbs do not. The bad part about Wi-Fi bulbs are really twofold. Number one is every bulb counts as a device on your network. Mm. Most routers only allow X number Certain of amount, connections yeah. to each router. And so a lot of times that number is 50. And so if you have 30 bulbs out there and you have other devices in your house on a network, you run into yeah. that number really yeah. quickly. So that's downside number one. Downside number two is you still have a limitation because these are outside lights. You still have the same distance limitation as really Bluetooth is the same as Wi-Fi. Now, in your home, you probably get longer range in Wi-Fi because your antennas can be quite big on your routers. The reason the range is the same for lighting as Bluetooth is because your antenna can't be that big because it's inside a metal housing and inside an enclosure. Your range is really limited on your Wi-Fi connection. And then Bluetooth is the obvious third one. That one, you actually have to be on site to control everything. With the Wi-Fi bulbs, as long as they're 
connected online, mm -hmm. you can control them from anywhere. So there's another option. But again, limited in range and really very, very application specific. One of the reasons that we developed the technology that we did with communicating over the power lines is because we wanted the system to work every time in every application. We didn't want an installer to have to go to a residence, install everything, and then figure out, crap, my range doesn't right. get out to where I need it to yep. get to and I'm in trouble. Because yep. that's kind of the disaster scenario for, for an installer. You've already quoted it, you may have already gotten a deposit, and now you, you're backtracking quickly and probably going to a system like ours to where it's more expensive and now yep. you've got to figure out how you're going to make that happen. That's really the three technologies, Wi-Fi with communication over the power lines, Wi-Fi with just every bulb connecting to Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth. Yep.